Do you already know what it is, man? Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, yo. I'm on some real murder sh A. Anybody that ever looked at me wrong owes me money or said any jealous bullshit is dead, B. They got my little man, son. Yo, Sirius Jones feels like he got seriously robbed. I watched the battle more than once. They got apps for that. Action Pack, they got apps for that. Um, I'm going to just give you my personal opinion as far as, because I seen Murder Mook, you know, Murder Mook was like, he was he was on the on the speakerphone with Swave and all of that. Listen, he's not like the commissioner of battle rap. He's not going to be able to make nothing change. I'm sorry. It's just not happening like that. But uh, Sirius Jones, uh, after the battle, in all of his interviews and, 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 and on Twitter, he feels like he got robbed. He feels like he got robbed with no gun. You know what I'm saying? He says... I'm going to say this one time and one time only, that man's pen, but I obviously won the battle. I'm very disappointed in these so-called judges. This was whack. My face lost me a battle, but shout out to URL for the opportunity regardless going to shake back. Because I don't know. Wait, was it Minnesota Blue? Or so I don't know. I don't want to put it on nobody, son. All right. They said a judge said I wasn't liking the way he was looking. No, they said Minnesota Luke said he gave it to Swave, no, he gave it to Prep because he didn't like the way that Swave was invading his space. His space, bro, it's a hundred thousand dollars on the line. Are you crazy? You 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 think a nigga not gonna be all up in somebody's face? Son? Somebody could have got thrown out a fucking window. You are you crazy? Somebody would got hit with a parked car. Somebody get hit with a TV. Is you bugging? Is you bu for a hundred bands, bro? Somebody would get aired out about that kind of money. I seen Daylight tweet earlier, like, yo, Daylight was ready to air out an event for $500. What do you think somebody's gonna do about 100 bands that you playing with, you playing with my money, Smokey? Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. You are playing with people's money. As far as the Sirius Jones battle, like I said, I did watch it more than once, and I'ma just re, I'ma, I'm gonna bring it back to how I feel. I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this. And the only reason why I'm doing this specific video is to address Sirius Jones feeling like he got robbed and seeing Mook went out the window and said that it was Sirius Jones 2-1, if not 3-0, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I will say this. It was the best Sirius Jones that I've ever seen since his murder book battle. Sirius Jones was really, he really, really stepped his game up. And I'm not going to take nothing from him. He was coming in facing a lot of scrutiny for the whole ARP situation, calling him Cartoon Jones, saying that he was homeless, he ain't got a phone. Like, he was facing a lot of obscure scrutiny in regards to this battle. But I'm going to say it like this, bro. I feel like in the first round, I had Rum Nitty winning the first round. Sirius Jones was rapping, and, like, his angles was cool. I heard him say the thing about the liquor, and he was talking about the Kahlua, caffeine, or rum. He had a lot of bars, you know what I'm saying? But to me, I just felt like what rum that he had in his first with the Siri, you know what I'm saying? How is Siri is talking? How is he talking to Siri? Rum Nitty was Rum Nitty, but the thing is, it wasn't the best version of Rum Nitty that I've ever seen in my life, for real. I'm just being honest, and I rock with Rum Nitty. But I think people are more predicated to who they see more often. So, you know... The crowd is there. They used to Rum Nitty. I seen what Sirius Jones said, you know what I'm saying? He said Rum Nitty will be like the eight in the pound is blazing around, making a sound. And as soon as the bullet hit, you see the snake in the ground. Like, I understand the four bar setups and the, and the lines that Rum Nitty's having gun line after gun line, which is the reason why I think as he advances in this tournament, he's going to need to do a little bit more because what Jack Boy Main did was heaven sent. And he was devilish versus T-Top. He's going to need to do more because when he gets to some of them further rounds, just that one 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 line is not going to beat those opponents. You're going to see. But uh, as far as the first round, I had uh, I had uh, Rum Nitty winning the first. Second round, Sirius Jones. Clear as day. Clear here Lee. He won the second round. Um, third round is the closest round. It's going to be the round where people are going to really decide how they feel about this battle. I could see which re the reasons why people feel like Sirius Jones won, and I can see reasons why they feel like Rum Nitty won. To me, Sirius Jones' third round was not as good as his second round and was not better than his first round. 
he had lines that was a little outdated, like popcorn, like Nitty's Pops or some shit like that, and a couple other lines. That, and then um, in the battle, he had a couple other lines that was really outdated or used before. That red rum backwards. Niggas was reacting to that like they never heard that before. That that line's been used before. But um, Sirius Jones had a good pace. He had a good tone. He had a good vocal projection, and he used he battled very well. He battled better and well enough to beat Rum Nitty, and I can see why whoever gave the battle to Sirius Jones gave it to him because he was wigging. What Rum Nitty did in his battle, his third round, it was a Rum Nitty round. He had some punches. He was doing his thing, but I'm not mad at nobody for feeling like Sirius Jones won. Now, am I saying that, oh, he got robbed, robbed, robbed? It's a fucking debatable battle. Like, if you haven't seen it, Sirius Jones won the war because people gonna want to see him. You know what I'm saying? They gonna want to see more of him. They gonna want to see if he's gonna be able to carry up that kind of pace and do this on this level. But Rum Nitty kind of won the battle. I mean, if you really, really watch the third round, and I watch, like I said, bootleg gang, 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 and on bank. So I definitely saw it again. But Sirius Jones got that second. Rum Nitty got the first. Third round is kind of debatable. But when I look at things, all things perspective. Uh, his second, his Rum, Sirius Jones third round wasn't better than Rum Nitty's, but Sirius Jones did better than we've seen him do in a long ass time. I'm not mad if motherfucker gives Sirius Jones the battle. Shit, I feel like, and I feel like Sirius Jones, sh he's for some way Sirius Jones should still be in this tournament. He should still be in the motherfucking tournament. I don't know how. Maybe it's maybe it's somebody who 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 advanced, but they wasn't really that good and won by default. Sirius Jones should be in. Not in no playing, like battling on a little off week shit, putting them against some, like newborn or some shit. Like, no, I'm talking about. I would like to see Sirius Jones still in action in this tournament because he did his motherfucking thing. He has all right to feel how he feels in regards to how the battle went down and how the judging and shit went down. Um, I don't, you know what I'm saying? As far as judging goes, judging is going to be judging. I don't really feel like Freeway is a battle rap judge like that. Because he's literally said that he felt like a round should have been a tie. And even when the analytics, when you look at how, you know, how people are breaking the battles down and saying this person won this round, this is the reason why, he don't really got much. He's just like, oh, you know, I give him the third. Yo, I'm, I'm going to go. He's just going off what the other people are saying. So I feel like he's there as a novelty and as a name per se. But in the, when it comes to the true analytics of battle rap and breaking down bars, it should have been somebody like Mickey Fax or somebody that really, really knows what the fuck they talking about because a hundred grand is way too much money to have somebody up there like yo i feel like the third round is a tie bro the, a tie a tie a motherfucking nick you get a colombian nick tie what do you mean a tie a tie you're bugging son and i rock with freeway you know what i'm saying um i i, I follow him on twitter and all that other stuff and he's he watches my content and i got no issue with him but as a this is a hundred grand. A hundred grand is could change somebody's whole life. It can help them start a business, help them buy a house, help them take care of their whole family. You can't have people out there feeling like they got robbed or jerked when it comes to that kind of money. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just cannot happen. And then Sirius Jones should feel like he won because the way the polls were set up at the end, his name was in the shit twice. Like tw those type of mistakes cannot be happening on the highest level. It's the highest level of battle rap. That type of shit cannot be happening. Sirius Jones should not feel like he got robbed. And a lot of people feel that way. You know, I would not have... Then this is what I'm saying. Rum Nitty needs to do more because that type of shit, Sirius Jones should have won that battle. And just to show you, he should have had got the win just to show you that you're going to have to evolve and do more. That shit when he said uh, the strip on a period twerk got it popping with a red rag in your face, nigga, that shit got the most reaction of the whole fucking battle. Rum Nitty had a lot of punches, but the thing is, you're going to face MCs who's able to do a lot. Jack Boy Man is in that bracket. He can do a lot. Cortez is on that side. You saw what he just did versus official. He can do a lot. All I'm saying is two weeks, you know, did Sirius jump? Now, y'all tell me, did Sirius Jones get seriously robbed? That's all I want to know. Did Sirius Jones get seriously robbed? A lot of people are saying robbery. With the prep and swave, I do have it. I did not watch it again. I need to watch it again so I can kind of like, you know, chop that fable a little bit more, get get, get a little bit more into it. But from what I've seen, um, I seen, I didn't catch the whole shit. I only seen like a round. I was at work at the time. But Sirius Jones definitely, with all things considered, 
and what he was going through at the time, the pressure, the the people talking, the the, the whole ARP shit, the cartoon Jones shit, he 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 delivered. He definitely delivered, and I was proud of what Sirius Jones was able to do as a battle rap spokesman who's been around for a long time. Because going into the battle, the reason why a lot of people feel he got robbed because he had like a 90 to like 8 chance, 90, 92 to 8 chance. He had no chance. He was given no chance to win. So when you make it debatable like that or you have a really close one, a lot of motherfuckers are going to feel like you got robbed. Sirius Jones did his motherfucking thing. Can't even take nothing from him. You can't take nothing from nobody that feel like he won. Is all I'm saying. If you didn't see the battle, you can't take nothing from nobody who feel like he won. But in the standard way battle rap goes nowadays, it's going to go kind of like Rum Nitty got the first, Sirius got the second. When you go to the third, punch for punch, stat for stat, motherfuckers gave it to Rum. And then they see Rum every goddamn week. He's on every fucking card, every fucking bar. So that, that kind of sways people's memory. Like judging, like the, the judging shit is very hard in battle rap. That's why I would never want to do it. Let Showtime SP do it. I'm good at this right here. I'm good at talking shit, dropping videos, and going about my motherfucking business. <laughs> like Jack Boy Maine. Go!